Welcome back, folks. Continuing with more Space Haven Alpha 6 on the HSS Xanthep. So I just recorded about two hours of this and realized after the fact that my microphone was disabled somehow. Uh, basically, what happened was... What had happened was... We had uh, pirates jump in. We fought them. We killed them. We found Mike Steiner here on board the CNHS Shooting Star. Brought him back. He's actually quite good because he can do a little bit of everything except for shields. That's about the only thing he cannot operate. I'm just going to turn him on here real, real quick. Um, after that, pirates jumped into the system, PCS Saracen, and we fought him and killed him with some help from uh, another faction. Shortly after that, while I was salvaging, I noticed somebody else was jumping into the system. It'd be this guy right here, you can see on screen. Uh, somehow, the cult of New Haven decided to declare war on me. <laughs> Negative 100. Uh, yeah, so we fought them, destroyed their ship. And uh, we were able to board it, and we got in this... Hit this pretty intense fight, firefight, where uh, a couple of our guys surrendered. We sent in the dream team of Federico and Aueva. Federico kind of broke there, surrendered as well, but Aueva never wavered. <laughs> and came in and freed our guys and took out the rest of the dudes. They wanted to negotiate, and we said no. So we uh, scuttled their ship, essentially. So we're going to come in and salvage this and do all that fun stuff. But now that you're caught up and fast forwarded about two hours into this game. <laughs> one other thing I did uh, was expanded out the core. So let's continue on with that. Expanded it out. I'm going to move my industry over here. I already started the uh, recycling plant, the second one that I built. For doing infrascribe and trying to catch up with that. But yeah, let's, let's continue. A little frustrating morning. Battle Brothers, uh, my save corrupted, so what you see this week is it for that campaign. I'm deciding whether or not I want to continue playing it, though. Start a new campaign. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see, what do we have going on? Federico's over here transferring goods from the pirate ship. All of it, including the bodies. This one is being wonky, so I'm going to have to go board it again here in a minute and claim it. So I think it kind of bugged out on me. In fact, we have the shift sleeping. Yeah, Bertas, Mike, a lot of people almost died there. It was very close. See, they were held prisoner. Who else was? They were, oh man, he's going to have all kinds of problems laying. Held as a prisoner and he's got friggin' uh, aliens haunt me in my dreams. Who else was? She's got a wound. Gonna have to get her uh, fixed. Fixed up. Bertas was not taken prisoner, but he was wounded pretty bad. They dropped him. We're lucky we didn't lose anybody in there. What's the deal with Gerard? So Gerard was captured as well. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it was an exciting couple episodes. It's too bad that uh, <laughs> I didn't get any recordings off it. I mean, I got the video, but none of my audio, which is super frustrating. Let me just make sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still going on that. Good. I was able to reorder things in here. Let's look at rules. That was one of the things I wanted to touch on and fix. Um, since I moved this, let's set a minimum rule of, let's do 10 of each. And bring here. Oh, no. There we go. Ten of each will be fine. Get everything moved. My intent is to move all production off of this ship and move it over to here. And that'll free up a lot of the excess weight on the Xanthip. I might move these pods over as well. Maybe. I don't know. Let's do this. Let's move one of these and we'll get rid of it over here. Where is that? There we go. Let's relocate to this bad boy. Give them a couple. There we go. Let's uh, dismantle this. Free up a little bit of space and power.
So my intent is to move all of this stuff back here. Once we get everything moved off here for production, I'm going to do that. And then uh, move all this over here. Turn this into like a grow area. I'm thinking. And we'll uh, expand out the engine rooms and stuff. And then rework the power. Because there's a lot of stuff I've learned about power. Both from watching the Discord. Getting into those conversations. And uh, just playing a lot. How are we doing over here? Is this about done? Yeah, moving that. That's done. Uh, one of the things I've started doing is not getting it for scrap. Not targeting that specifically, but prioritizing tech scrap. Well, let me rephrase. First, I transfer all the goods that are already on there over to my ship. Then I focus on tech and energy scrap. Then I'll get soft scrap and whole scrap. Infra scrap I'm not worried about because I have such an excess of it right now. But that's my order of precedence on that. Seems to work pretty good for me. All right, who's available? Mike and them are all busy. Oeva, you're moving stuff. Looks like you're getting ready to get off this thing. Just leave you there for now. This pirate ship's almost cleared. We're gonna take the bodies? <laughs> My plan is to sell them off whenever we can. I still find it really interesting that they declared war on me. Like, I didn't do anything to deserve that, as far as I can tell. But apparently I did something. We'll clear this, clear this, hit here, here, come down here, here, and loop it back around, hit this. And then probably come back up here and around. I think that's a solid plan. Good, we're getting stuff off of the Xanthib, so it'll be a little more efficient when it comes to uh, power consumption, fuel consumption. Good, we're getting things moved. This is looking just about done. In fact, I'm going to tell her to leave all that stuff. Oh, interesting. It's stuck. I guess we already have it loaded. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess finish that up. How are we doing over here? I want to finish this up. Finish that up. And then we'll put all hands on deck on this thing. They wanted peace. I refused. They declared war on me. I'm not the aggressor here, but I'm sure as hell going to defend myself. I thought it was another pirate coming in, even though I had defeated the only pirate in the system. <laughs> really weird. I don't know what would have caused that. Maybe trade with some of their enemies. But you'd think that would be a slow decay, not an immediate, like, snap. Negative 100. Core's got a fire. It's in the kitchen, of course. I dealt with it. It's fine. It's break time. Something I discussed in the videos when I was talking to the wall, you know, not not talking to the video, <laughs> you guys, was uh, the aspect of crew rest. This is something I don't see addressed in most games. Like the, some of the facets of it are, but I was an air crew member. Back in the military, and I have about 3,500 hours of flight time <laughs> as an air crew member. One of the big things that comes from that is um, the fighter management program or crew rest programs. This is intended to keep everybody fresh so they don't make mistakes. Now, this game has some of those aspects in accident rates, and then more fatigue means more accidents and the like. But I think it's more of a scheduling thing. So generally, the way it works in uh, fire management programs is you have a weekly schedule and you have a monthly uh, limits on hours people can work. Essentially, your duty day, so to speak. So not only do you have monthly limits on work hours, but you also have daily and weekly 
really. So you might have one day where they have nothing but leisure. So you'd have rolling schedules like that. That might be getting a little too into the weeds. I understand games have to be simplified down to stuff that's fun. That might not be fun, but that's kind of uh, represented here. Like you might be minimizing, like you can only sleep for six hours, you little lazy bastard. Six hours, you get one hour of free time, and then you got to go back to work and work 20 hours a day. You know, whatever, <laughs> whatever. I know that math doesn't add up, but that's fine. But I think that could add some facets to the game. Food for thought. It's good we're actually getting through some of that uh, stuff. What's up, Fireloof? Don't you declare war on me. You see what I just did to those guys. Uh, I could buy more of that, but I don't really need it. You guys want to buy some uh, human meat? Oh, I got plastics. Look at that. See, human steaks, human meat. Oh, guess what? Today's your lucky day, buddy. <laughs> I'll go ahead and trade you all that. Let's look at another trade and see what the core has. You got the human meats? You do have the human meats. Humus. <laughs> I'll trade you all that and I'll take uh, some energy rods. That'll do. There we go. I just wanted to get it off my ship. It'll save a little bit of mass. Make sure nobody eats humans. <laughs> Starting to clear things off the ship. This is good. There's some lovely human steaks for you. You can eat the cultists all you want. <laughs> and the pirates. Alright, this is done. How's this? This is also done. Yeah, let's focus on this. Um, who's available? Who's on this ship? Where are you going? I guess you're just idling. Alright, well you two get to go on board and clear that ship out. I need a shuttle to come back. <laughs> They're both all busy. Come on, hurry up. Chop, chop. We got things to do, shuttles. And there we go. Let's go make sure this ship is clear yet again. It should be. It should let me claim it. I may need to jump out of the system, though. There we go. Now it's salvageable. Let's undraft you and you. And then we're going to strip this bad boy down. Downtown. Perfect. More guns. More guns are always good. Let's get the tech and energy scrap going. In fact, we're just going to get everything. We're going to go all in. No end for scrap, though. He's got critical resources low. They're low on hyperfuel. What's the problem there? Let's look at transfers real quick. They've got some. Let's transfer that over to the core. Nine will do. Where do we have a fire? That's a bad one. It's going to let it deal with itself. Because it should be able to scrub it. No problem. I'm not going to vent the entire ship right now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Just about ready. That should be fine. Dang, that was quick. <laughs> they stripped the hole real fast. It's good times. All right, what else do I want to move over here? I think it's safe to move this. I think, anyways. Is this doing anything? Not in particular. Yeah, I think we're doing fine there. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> I both went and got in those pods. 
going to get some work done. Strip that hole. Got another ship coming in. They're coming to see how uh, how we smoke the <laughs> TCS victory. Cult of New Haven. Right, what's everybody up to here? I gotta get over here and start stripping things. There you go. Well, at least most of the storage is right there. That makes it real handy for us. <laughs> Real nice of him to put it right by the airlock. This shouldn't take long. The Counterpoint Crisis from the Android Collective. Do you androids want some human meat? How about that? Sure do. Probably want it for research and stuff. Uh, I'll take... What is the difference here? Oh, that'll just give me the money. I'll take the money. That's fine by me. Uh, let's look at them yet again, and, uh, we might have some more over on the core. Do we? <laughs> we sure do. Alright, so they have a big difference there. Uh, I'll go ahead and buy these fancy electronics. Uh, one more. There we go. Perfect. Done. I don't know why androids want uh, human meat. It's, it's kind of strange. All right, I'm just going to disassemble this. Turn off repair. We'll dismantle it. We'll get it out of there. We'll start moving these over there. This is a component I need a lot of, or I need to process anyways. And it'll directly benefit from being over there. Let's uh, dismantle that. Production resource. And then we need the... Where is it? It is... The Optronics Fabricator. And I'll put it right there. Should be fine. Trying to move as much of my production over here as I can. And I may move Mike Steiner over here to work with uh, Gerard and Michael. It is the goal anyways. Uh, let's set the rules for guns. Let's select all. We'll have Mole Bry here. Whoa, a little brown out over here. What is this? It's one of the guns. I'll start by moving the solar panels. Keep them back here. How about right there? Uh, let's put it back here. That corner works perfectly fine. I think eventually I can uh, bump this out a little further. Spare myself the depressurized portion of the ship. I will expand this out. You just build it into a bigger area. Because I have the space. How's this doing? Transfers are moving pretty good. Salvage is ongoing. We stripped the hole pretty damn quick. Quite impressive. All right, that is gone. So I'm going to get the other scrap going to do continuous on all of it because there's no reason to keep the scrap around. There we go. What are we doing over here? 
thing is, if I move, um, if I move him over here, Mike Steiner, that is, if I move him over, I'm going to have to build another cryopod. We'll see. We'll see. Good, that's built. And let's do this. I guess we'll keep 20 of these. Should be fine. Turn that off. Let's go back to this. This is mostly stripped down. It's just uh, transferring goods at this point. Which I think should be done here in no time. Creating more derelicts now. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Core is well underweight. Xanthip is slowly coming down. Good. Got more dropped off. Oh, we got power problems. Oh, that's not linked up. Let's uh, find the issue here. Yeah, I need to rework this entire power grid. Right now it's kind of dorked up. We got a fire in the core. Okay, it's in the depressurized portion. That's not a problem. We'll fix this here in a minute. Oh, this isn't linked up. Well, that's that's easy to solve. There we go. So I need one, two more items on the other ship, and then we'll have all the industry moved over. An assembler and an advanced assembler. This is out of juice. I guess we're pulling too much power now. Let's try a little power recycling here. Uh, there is a solar panel here. Let's look at this. So that's slowly charging up. It needs something else to power it a little more. So I can link this directly to that. Because we're drawing a little too much power off of this. I think when things run. Hmm. So the general workflow is solar panels connected to... Well... Let's go the other way. You have the power generator hooked up to your solar panels. Solar panels hooked up to a capacitor. Capacitor hooked up to the power nodes. That's the general workflow and how people have identified it working best. Hmm. Because this doesn't need much as far as power. It just needs small nodes. It's not a big deal. So I guess what I should do is move like solar panel, solar panel, power node, and then link that off to these nodes here. That might work. Let's try that. Let's move this guy to right here. I know ergonomically it's not the best, <laughs> but it's fine. It'll be okay. Let's move this solar panel here. We'll put the other solar panel right there. We need people to get work done first before we get anywhere on there. Of course, we're at a uh, night shift. <laughs> Never fails. Good, we're moving. 
things. Xanthip's still, it's slowly getting down there. It was up to like 4,500, I think, at some point. All right, that's generating plenty of power right now. It's nice and full. All right, there we go. We're going to have some power problems here shortly. Need you guys to focus on prioritization. High priority on that. High priority on that. There we go. Need that battery bank linked up. Just a little bit more. Do need that as a high priority as well. All right, link that. Apparently I can't. <laughs> it's not close enough, of course. Uh, of course. All right, let's just move it back. Oh, I can put it right here. Oh. Well, okay. There it is. Okay, that's up. Huh. Maybe that link doesn't work. Why does that not want to go? Um... Hmm. Maybe I read something wrong. <laughs> Strange. I'll link that to there. And at least get it some power. I guess I can link up to that. Link that up to there. There. Get some redundancy going. I'm about to re read this. <laughs> read through things again. Because that theory does not seem to be working. This does not want to link to that. slowly getting there. This is all fixed up at least. We're stable again. Not good. This is almost done. Let me see if this is finished transferring. Just about. Just about. Once that's done, we'll move on to the next system. Sector, rather. Not system. <laughs> We've got a lot to do in this system yet. There were something like 10 derelicts minimum. I just added two more by killing those guys. There we go. That's ready to go. So that can link to that. These cannot link to each other. Strange. But that can link to it. I don't understand why this can't link to it. That doesn't make sense to me. Let's cut that tie. Want that? Let me cut that. Weird. Very confused about that. Well, I'll plug it into that. Maybe these need one each and that other connector has to go out to somewhere else. That'd be my bet. Yeah, we'll relook at it. Is this done? Still not. Not quite. Oh, I don't have it selected yet. Let's get him get him on it. And while we're doing it, let's look at production. Resource. Oh, we don't have a microweaver, do we? Uh that might be something we need to work on. Get one of those up and running. Okay. 
Let's look at... Uh, we need... I guess we need an electronic fabricator. Yeah. Let's put it right here. Makes sense. It's right next to the other one, just like it. And the other ones... I mean, the micro... The micro weaver. I wanted to say microfiber. It's not quite the same thing. I can almost go there. We need to reorganize things a little bit. But it can go here. Crammed in that corner. Um, what else? So we need an assembler... Running out of room on this bad boy. <laughs> that's that's a common problem here. Let's do this. Then we need an advanced assembler. There's a busy ship, to say the least. We'll put it right here. That'd be fine. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> doing here? Are we done? Not quite. Let's uh, turn that off. So you need to move like a couple blocks. That's it. I guess everybody's prioritizing building shit on here. than 10. Same thing and same thing. We'll fabricate things. I realize there's probably better ways to do some of this stuff, but this is how I'm doing it for now. Not the most efficient pathing. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, let me see if I can move this back. I can. There we go. Let's move it back one, then people can cut through here if they need to go around. Still not the best, but it's what I've got. All right, the advanced one will do the same thing if less than 10 and 10. That way we're producing a whole bunch. Start setting this ship up for a third crew member. Uh, Hmm. That'll work. Now yeah, we'll put this bed right there. And sleep over there <laughs> by yourself. Okay. We'll set this up for 10 as well, because it's going to get processed real quick. There we go. We fixed some of the logistics problems. Still not ideal. <laughs> it's a pretty packed ship. But it's got shields. It's got two solar panels. They can do all the industry. So this can go away. So can this. Let me start moving the rest of this crap over. All right. Is this done? It is. Okay, well, let's get ready to jump. I'm getting rolling blackouts here again. All right, they're ready. Waiting on the Xanthip. And they're ready. Okay, let's jump. So many derelicts there now. Um, yeah, my intent is to come here, down here. So let's go mine this Nergium. Gotta get the power situation sorted out on here. 
I go be getting closer to the sun too, which definitely helps. And since they're a processor, they get all the energium. We'll get to work. I think the power will be fine on here. It's just when things are active, it starts drawing a lot of power. Uh, hmm. It's not getting enough power to that. I could do some more directional power pushing. Let's look at this. Uh, let's look at the links. Sever that one. We'll sever that one. Nope. Sever that one. And then we'll uh, do a cut that. link that up we'll send power I'll probably build a second one of these let's do a one-way link power flows in only one direction so power is gonna go from here to here sever that one power will go from here to here And those should never have excess power, so we'll have it go from there to there. And all these can push and pull, no problem. So we'll fix this real quick. And we don't really need to be walking. Okay, it doesn't matter. We can't do that. Uh... Completely running out of room on this ship. Let's put this guy here. It's going to get a little messy, but that's okay. Messy's fine. I think that'll help with the ship. Keep it moving in the right direction. It's good. We got a lot of production moving. Congrats, Mike. You're moving over. And it's going to be on ships. There we go. You're now a member of the HSS Corps. Need to get you a bed. Good old break time. Prioritize this. Need you guys to finish uh, mining that stuff. You got the shuttle for it. You got the pods. Need that a priority. I need this to be a priority. Everybody need everything's a priority. <laughs> it's like a transferring some of the goods. Uh, yeah, let's send. Nope, nope, wrong ship. Oh, looks like they're already getting it. It's already set to go, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with the order of operations there. All right, we got a bed there. Good. Quarters are a little cramped, so to speak. Still getting rolling brownouts, but this hasn't been finished yet, so I don't think this is even hooked up. It's fine. Fires are fine. There's no oxygen in that environment. Yeah, they just need to transfer that stuff. That's it. Somebody needs to mine this. Why isn't this getting done? So everybody's all tied up in other jobs. There's a lot of work to be done over here. Right, good, they're getting a lot of stuff over there. 
We're almost at our weight. That's good. Okay, there we go. That got finished. Let's look at the links. Uh, I want this to... I want to sever that one. I want to set a... Really, I cannot target that. What is going on? Is this one just glitched? I don't understand it. Well, here's here's what I'll do. I'll link it up to this. And I guess for now, we'll link it up to there. That's very weird. Very weird. Oh, well. We'll have more power stored, I guess. That's, that's one saving grace. Okay, we're going to jump and get moving on to the next. Everybody's on board. Let's go for it. Time to come down here. Maybe we can trade some more human meat. Get some more money. Alright, we're gonna dock you right there and put you right there. Send that over to the core. And we'll get ready to rock with this crew. Whenever Bertos and Lane wake up, they can go deal with the hostels. Uh, I'm going to move the scanner down here. Move our shield generator right here. This guy can go there. And this hull stabilizer can go back here. Running out of room here. <laughs> Not really sure where to put this guy. We'll leave him there for now. And we'll start, start walling this up, turn this into more of a grow room than a storage room. That is my intent anyways. I might seal this off. Make this into one separate area for the most part. We'll see. We'll see. That's a lot of work. Let him get all this done first. This will become one big grow room. Put a lot of food, food processing in there. Goes the Fury's Wrath. Actually, we're going to send Federico and Aueva on the away team. Go clear that hostile alien ship, the Derelict. Might make this a two trip endeavor. There we go. Let's get to it. That room's clear. It's interesting that the bridge is this far back, but, you know. And there's the hostels. It's big hoss. Oh, got a good hit on him before he hit it, finished his charge. Let's get up here. Eggs have to be in here. Yep. Push in and get everything down. Nicely done. Oh, got more eggs. And aliens. But there's another uh, brood egg in here. No? Okay, interesting. Must have been laid by the other one. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, another hostel. And there he goes. Engine room is clear. Let's check this hallway. Clear that room. We should be able to clear it in one go. Made some good progress so far. Nope, that's good to go. Speed. Whoa! <laughs> Ran into one of the big ones. Hey, look at this. Got another crew member. Let's get him out. 
It's like this is Cree Moon. Oh, good. They're good at weapons and stuff. Let's go ahead and get you off this ship. We'll undraft that shuttle. Move you out of your Cree. Covering the retreat. Let's go sweep a few more rooms, then we're good to go. All right, that's good. It's good. We're finally getting crew members. It took us this long to get all the way to this system to start uh, racking them up. It'll open up a lot of opportunities for us. All right, the Shiva is clear. Let's transfer all the goods. We'll set up some salvage because I don't have to worry about pirates. I'm just going to go all in. So I think I have the bodies to do this now. What does Cree do? Why is somebody on ops? <laughs> That's weird. Um, okay, let's check. Priorities. There's Cree. So really middling at most of these things, but they can do industry, mining, and well, you're really good at mining. And uh, botany. But you can also do a little bit of everything on the bridge. It's good to have. It's good. Good overlap. Welcome on board. Got a lot of work to do. Slowly getting up there. ship. I can sell off the human meats. <laughs> Is this to the androids? No, civilians. I could empty this out and move it, but first let's do a little bit of ship work. Start with this wall. Seal that off. Once I have this set up, I'm going to start building this out as a grow room. Actually, I can start that now. Let's look at food production. Let's get the big grow bed. I can fit this. One, two, three, four. I can fit two. I can fit a bunch. Nice. We can get some serious production going. And that's what I intend to do. I got another one here, another one here, and here. We'll have tons of production, and we'll strip this one down, turn that into more birthing or something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I know what I do need is a lot of light. <laughs> Let's look at the lights. There we go. There's the fire floof again. <laughs> Let's get some good lighting in here. These plants love light. It's a well lit room. Oh, did they already leave? Man, that was quick. Alright, still working on everything in here. We got a pretty full complement of, yeah, we got all four people over here stripping down and loading another shuttle. Object not a power grid. Yeah, yeah. This just needs to get moved over, I think. Right there. But it can't move there, so it's going to have to go here. Well, that's a problem. Since we've change this. I think I'm going to dismantle this one and we'll build a smaller one. Do a nice little floor one. We'll do one right. I don't know that that's going to work there. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens when we get rid of that. 
I don't know that I necessarily, necessarily, I don't think I necessarily need a second hole stabilizer, but actually I'll move her right here. This would be a good place for it. That way I've got a bunch of hull and this capital ship can be nice and strong. Everybody's over here helping work on things. Still other stuff in here. I would have to set like a no more rule, I think. Still minding that. Nobody's really done anything on it in a while. Oh, that's my only hole stabilizer. Okay. Well, I thought I had more than that. All right, what is my plan here? I have to set up power in here first. I can go one off the wall. I can get rid of this. Nah, that's not going to help either. What about wall nodes? This will work. It's kind of inefficient, but it'll work. Yeah, that'll cover everything. We'll do that. And then we can get food production and it'll be a bunch of big ass beds to feed all these bastards. I'll put them this close together. And that'll work. Nice. And we'll build crew life support. Maybe not life support. <laughs> what is it? That is. Where is it? It's under food. Okay. COT2 producer. There we go. We'll close that vent. We'll link this up to this node. And that one to that one. Keep the power moving. Well, there is a node over here that's not hooked up now. I didn't realize that. That can go there. Although I might not need it. Oh, I need a temperature scrubber. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, the need life support. We'll do a thermal regulator. We're right there. Do a full fledged one. This one up right here and that should be fine we got juice throughout the thing temperature regulation and co2 production i think i'm gonna start growing so this is gonna be all root vegetables let's do if less than 15 we're gonna get a lot That's going. I'm going to dismantle these while I'm at it. This entire room is going to get dismantled. Oh, I may do something with it. Might leave that there for now. Let's get rid of this. We'll open this vent as it can now. All right, we got what? This one's got root vegetables. This one is going to have. Well, I guess we don't really need fibers. Fibers are kind of handy. I guess I will get some. 
We're going to plant a lot. This is going to take up a lot of water, I think. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll see what happens. This might be a huge shock to the entire system. I'll see what this does for now. Once we have this, I'm going to leave this one empty for now. And we get everything planted and we'll be fine. We'll catch up. We got tons of food in, in uh, reserves. We got somebody coming in. We can do a little trading. How's this, how's this going? Still waiting on stuff to get moved. I guess they're prioritizing the salvage piece of it. There's no more hole to rip down. Oh, it looks like there is, but we're just, it doesn't show. We'll, uh, we'll get these and then start to buggy. So good. We got a lot more food production capacity now. There's the Bismarck. Let's see. What do they have for trade? Looks like they have a little bit of money. Uh, do you have human meat? They do. I will sell that to you. There's a difference. So, what do we want to buy? We'll buy some carbon. There we go. Nice and even. Still one human meat I would like to get rid of, I think. Maybe not. No. How about the core? Do they have some human meat? They apparently have nothing for trade. Weird. That was weird. It was empty. That's it. We're good. I got two guns on this bad boy. Looks like they were in a fight. So what I may do is make these little wings here into weapons bays and, you know, other systems bays, systems rooms, and then uh, move this airlock somewhere else, maybe like off here or something. I don't know. I have two other ships coming in. I've got a fire in the core. That's to be expected. Still have some power problems on here. When things are running, of course. Alright, that's done. How are we doing here? Still waiting on this. Like, what is going on? Stop the scrapping. Get to transfer it. We need the stuff moved. Come on. Let's look at the rules on this thing. Um, I want to select all and empty. No more. Empty. <laughs> there we go. Uh... I would like to keep energy rods. Bring those here. Keep it a minimum of, let's say, five, I would say. And then bring here a minimum of five. There we go. That should deal with that problem. I would like to empty this. It's going to empty the whole thing. Select all empty. And empty that, get rid of it. I may drop down and power on here because I think I'm doing okay on power. Because I'm not doing an industry anymore, so things aren't sucking power too much. Weapons might eventually. I'll probably extend the hull out quite a bit so then I can move the engines back further and have more lengthwise space. Overall, power is not doing too bad. These nodes aren't, and they're just not consuming that much. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's a pretty busy bridge up there. I do like this room. I think it's doing pretty good. Growth patterns on these. 
It's all 100%. They're doing good. No problems there. How about the meat? Meat is a tough thing to grow. You know, we got skill penalties for some people tending them. Still got our autopsy room back here. <laughs> I'll probably move my medical beds in here too. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's look at ship stuff and hull stuff. So this line is where I want to kind of buff it out. And we'll buff this out a little bit more. Might make it a little lopsided. Uh, there we go. We'll do that. I may bump this out. One more, I think that'll do. I think that'll work. Uh, I would need to get rid of the engine, so we'll do that later. I'll need to get rid of the engine so I can bump this back, make it a longer ship. There we go. Move that back one. Move that back one. And we'll... We'll fix this up later, but intent is to start to build this out a little bit. While all this is going on, all right, let's send all that over to the core. Get some whole scrap, the soft scrap. There we go. What are we doing? Moving stuff out of here. Yeah, I'm going to knock this down because I don't need this much power. I don't think. Hey, you, Bismarck. You want to buy more human meat? <laughs> I got more. I think. Yeah, I think I got more. Sure do. Um, yeah, I'll buy more coal from you. There we go. Have some human meat. I don't want it. What are you doing out there, Frederico? What the? Did you get stuck? Yeah, I think making this into a... No, don't move it. That's not what I want. I want you to dismantle it. I'll make this into like the crowd sleep chamber room and I'll make this into like the autopsy slash medical room. So overall medical bay, medical bay and morgue. I'll probably shrink the room a little bit just because I don't need that much space. Let's move this guy here and we'll move this guy over here. I think we can move that back one. Yeah, we sure can. Nice. Very nice. Probably bump this back. I don't think I need another access corridor there. What is his problem? Why does he have no O2? We'll move this back one, maybe two, but right there. It'll cover all that. Eh, actually cancel that. Cancel that move. This will cover the entire room. We shouldn't have any problems. Um, ships. Wall. Let's build more wall right here. Get that back there. And I'll probably bump this back to here. Yeah, I think so. Because I don't need that much space. Yep, that'll work perfectly. Actually, no, it won't. <laughs> Shit. I think if I turn that table, it might work. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's 
get things moving. Whoa, not what I wanted. Let's move that over here. We'll move that guy right here. No, that's not going to work. Shit. Let's cancel those. Figure this out in a minute. This is not a priority. Mm -hmm. I could put the kitchen right there with the food storage and then move everybody, everybody's stuff over here. Make this into a bedroom so it's separate from everything. So if this catches fire, it's not as big a deal for the rest of the crew. Just a thought. A lot of movement going on. I like it. How's this looking? Still putting stuff in there you shouldn't be. Like you're supposed to empty that out. Come on. How's this going? Anything else moved? A few things. Salvage is still a little slow. where they are. I will eventually need more. Should be ready to put a third one over here. Science uh, hypersleep chamber. We can even get a fourth on here later. Just put two bunk beds. Crops getting tended. All this stuff is getting done. I also don't necessarily have to worry about fires as much. Just because I'm not doing as much industry. So I could open this up. Let's move this back. And get rid of this. fit two here. We'll put the autopsy table like right next to it. It'll seal that room off and then we'll have the rest of this as a lounge area. Aha. Aha. We'll do that in a bit. Not a priority right now. I'd really like for everybody to finish this. <laughs> That'd be great. Everybody's too busy doing industry and crap. Let's see. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. There's no botany on this ship, so I don't have to worry about that. Huh. I guess construction would be considered both salvage and that and building things. I don't really know. We got two navigators already, so we're good there. A lot of freight movement. I like it. All right, I think I'm going to get rid of this. This should be interesting. And there goes the O2. Flooding in. I'm going to keep these here just in case there's a fire. And then people can run over and get their spacesuits and go. Alright, let's 
let's get rid of this. We'll dismantle that, clear it out. See if I can just get rid of this. Let's make some room. Come on. Okay, that'll do. I think we're good there. Let's tear down that wall. We're getting a lot of botany done. It's starting to get down there in weight a little bit. It fluctuates quite a bit. You guys doing anything over here? Doesn't really look like it. There's a lot of stuff that needs to get caught up on. I think that's part of the problem. These guys are overwhelmed with jobs. This part of the ship I'm definitely fine being depressurized. This should make people a little more comfortable going forward. If I bump this back, I can increase my cargo hold to this entire space. Do a lot more. All right, let me get rid of this. That'll work perfectly fine there. We'll move this guy right next to him. I think that'll do. Let's get our walls going. Don't really care what the wall is because I'm going to fix it later anyways. There we go. That's dealt with. Get all these moved in here for now. Apparently I can't because that's not done. Can I fit everybody in here? I mean, I guess I don't really need to do that now. I can just make this a real badass room for old Bertas. Do that. Uh, it just needs power, so that shouldn't be an issue. Oh, you set it on fire there, Aweva. <laughs> Whoops. All right, well, we'll rebuild that wall. A lot of ship maintenance going on in this episode. <laughs> it's quite a bit to do. Everybody else can sleep out here in the crew quarters. This will be the captain's quarters, old Bertas. Move this over here, and that'll even cover Bertas's room. Sweet. Good. They're actually working on this ship now. They weren't for a while. Let's get rid of these walls real quick. Then my intent is to build this out. We'll figure out where we're going to end this room. We'll cram the kitchen back here so... Yeah, less chance of killing everybody. Or I'll leave it here and I'll make all this some lovely seating for everybody. Yeah, we'll see. You gotta let her let it roll. A 
flick this up to that guy for now. Isolate the medical room. Scrapping's just about done disassembling everything. Let's look at our furniture situation. Let's see if we can do better with this. I can't really do much with this over here. I can, however, do plenty with this. Well, some with this, not a lot. Um, yeah, here I can do plenty. Uh -huh. Let me get rid of this. Let's get rid of this round table too. And that, that little chair. We're going to make more space for people to enjoy themselves. We'll leave this kitchen area over here. For now. We may shift it eventually. Nah, okay, let's move this. Yeah, this can go in that corner. We'll put the gas scrubber over there with it. Should deal with it. I can put it in its own little room here. Isolate it if I need to. We'll make this all foodstuffs. <laughs> I can make it a airlock room. Let's make a little wall there. Yeah, I'll put a door on it. We'll likely need more power in here. And there we go. Look at the crew furniture. Uh, I'm going to start building this bad boy right here. And then we'll get a couple of tables. And then we'll get a nice couch. Maybe not. Now yeah, we'll get a couple of regular chairs. There we go. And we're going to make it a nice little livable space. Go back to furniture and we'll look at lighting. We'll beef that up as well. I can't really put them on corners, I guess. And that should cover it. So that should give us room for six people to sit and relax. I may put a nice little couch over here somewhere, right next to this, so people can relax there. Yeah, there we go. You can put a nice little bistro table like right here. Put a couple of chairs. There we go. Building out the galley a little bit so people can actually relax and enjoy themselves. Meanwhile, Bertos has a oh, wave of sleeping in there. That can't be. 
That's not how this works. I mean, Aueva has become a pretty good, uh, pretty good crew member. <laughs> but that's Brotoss. He's the captain. All right, that can get linked up to this. And there we go. Now our crew should be a little happier, I think. How are we doing over here? It's a lot getting done. Is this about done? Salvage is done. We just need to move a few more things. Actually, we don't really need to. I'm going to get everybody ready to jump, and we're going to move to the next. What are they doing? Saw their shuttle moving. It's a little suspect, if you ask me. Let's get out of here. Where are we going next? We'll come down here, hit this system up, and drop in. And we're there. I'll drop you there. We'll come take care of this derelict. Okay. That's going to the core, because that's what they do. Did we give Kree a weapon? I don't think we did. Well, Kree. Come on over. Get you a shotgun. I got to look at who I'm going to send over. Notice I don't have a temperature regulator in here, but I guess it's doing okay. Food's going good. We've got a decent amount of water. I think we'll be fine for now. Unreachable areas. Where? Apparently that little section is uh, unreachable. Well, let's get rid of this chair, and then that won't be a problem. We've already got plenty of seating for everybody. Oh, good. I'm getting some stuff done here. Low on energy rods. What? Well, that's unacceptable. Whenever Federico and a wave will wake up, they're going to go clear that alien derelict. Well, the derelict, not necessarily the alien derelict. Getting ready for the shift change here shortly. We'll get up, fill their bellies, and get to work. Get your suits on and get on board. We're going to dock over here and take them down. Be the good airlock kickers that we are. There we go. Sweep in through here. Just clear one room at a time. Let's see what we got back here. Two rooms. All right. Atmospherics. Got it. No aliens encountered yet. And what's in here? Another office. Okay. Some crew quarters. I guess they have like one bed. And let's head back to the engine room. One alien. Well, that was easy. Slim pickings on there. We'll set this up for transfer. Send it to the Xanthip. We'll send everything else over to the core for scrap. There we go. Well, with that, I think that's a good point to stop. Man, they already mined all that. That was quick. 
I'm sure you just move my ship over and go, hey, go ahead. Wait a minute, what's this? Can I just move that? Nope, that's going to be items. Okay, good to know. Well, anyways, I think that's a good stopping point. We uh, accomplished a lot. I was able to summarize what happened in the previous episodes that we lost. But we're doing pretty good. We're up to, what is it, eight crew members now? Man, getting big. But hey, thanks for joining me and uh, take it easy.